Kevin Costner's imaginary friend, William Hurt. Mr. Brooks. When Kevin Costner has a conversation with his imaginary friend, William Hurt, he decides to go murder a couple. We can just drive by and look at them. And there's no harm in just having a look. No means no, Marshal. Please. Pretty please. And arrange the crime scene for police to find, who are being hunted by one of her escaped convicts. I already found a place where I'm gonna hang you. First, I'm gonna watch her have some fun with you. She's gonna watch me have some fun with you. While a photographer who witnesses murders approaches him and demands that Kevin Costner teaches him to kill people. Maybe I should pull over there and pick him up. Nah, just honk. Maybe he'll get killed crossing the street and save us the mess of doing it. <laughs> oh. Almost. Only the worst sight when push comes to shove then fails to kill Costner as well. I really did want you to kill me. But in case at the last minute I changed my mind, I returned to your apartment and I bent the firing pin on your gun. Who in turn ends up killing him and uses his home to send police away. If you touch even a hair in my head, the cops are gonna find those pictures. And they're gonna know that you killed that couple. The contents of your safety deposit box, Mr. Smith, have vanished. To confront their escaped convict, who dies in the process. Did you think your husband's killing was random? And I certainly didn't have to give you meeks. Mr. Baffert? What's the answer? You don't sound like you. Well, I have a little cold while Kevin Costner lies to police for his daughter, who he kills to protect, and has nightmares about her killing him. You always cleaned up after her, whatever she did all her life. It's not your fault, Earl. Part of your problem with her is that you always think it is. She has what I have, Marshall, so on a very basic level, it is my fault. Worth watching for William Hurt. You know how to pick the locks. No. You're the fucking man of the year. You deserve a treat. No, Marshal, I said no. Well, I heard you. But you don't mean no. Mr. Smith wants you to notice that he's pouting. <laughs> yes, I know. She did it because she got off on it, okay? I understand. She did it for fun, okay? I understand. Why didn't she think it through a hatchet and she left it there? It annoys you a little bit, you can't take credit, doesn't it? You know, anyone who's good at what they do wants credit. Since I'm not going to do it anymore, I will let Mr. Smith have the credit.